Hello everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. Now The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now as you can see, according to my ears, it's Christmas. Uh, usually it's Christmas in July, but today it's Christmas in September, as Disney has announced that the holiday season will in fact go on for 2020. Of course, things are gonna look a little different this year. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind that things are not gonna be the same, but it's still gonna be just as magical as it always is. So um, the holiday season will take place from November 6th through December 30th. There's gonna be festive decor, seasonal food and beverage offerings, holiday merchandise, as well as great entertainment offerings at all four Walt Disney World theme parks, as well as at Disney Springs. So. Let's start with the bad news first, and then we'll get to the positives of what the holiday season will be bringing us this year. So unfortunately, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and the Castle Dreamlights slash A Frozen Holiday Wish at the Magic Kingdom will not be occurring this year. In addition, Candlelight Processional at Epcot will also not be occurring this year. Uh, it also appears that Jingle Bell Jingle Bam will not be occurring this year. Obviously that makes sense due to the fact that it's a fireworks show and fireworks are not taking place right now. There are still great other holiday offerings though, so I don't want you to think that it's all doom and gloom. While things are gonna be different, like I said, it's going to still be a great holiday season, so let's find out how you can get your Jingle Bells on. So first, at the Magic Kingdom, instead of having the castle all lit up in icicles with the castle dream lights, this year, they're going to take the special projection technology that they have been utilizing with their Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party fireworks show. Now, of course, there's not gonna be fireworks, but they will be using the projections that are projected on the castle to kind of give a little holiday excitement. So you'll get to see things like whimsical Christmas sweater and a regal overlay of red, green, and gold ornamentation as well as a few other options as well. Um, these are gonna rotate throughout the evening uh, that the park is open. So you're still going to get the gorgeousness of the, of the castle, it's just maybe not going to be the same as it has always been. Uh, the Magic Kingdom will also include special character cavalcades with Disney friends on festive floats that are, and they will be dressed in their holiday finest. You're also going to see the gingerbread men, uh, the elves and the reindeer, uh, as well as the toy soldiers who are going to join the Main Street Philharmonic, uh, Philharmonic as they march down Main, Main, Main Street USA and the Magic Kingdom. That's going to be incredible. I am so excited about this. Uh, the toy soldiers marching with the Main Street Philharmonic is just, it's going to be unbelievable. Moving over to Epcot, the Epcot Festival of the Holidays is going to continue. Now, this festival will start later in the holiday season. It actually kicks off on November 27th. And guests are, of course, still going to be able to enjoy those holiday kitchens that they love to enjoy. Uh, they will be scattered throughout World Showcase Promenade. Now, the Voices of Liberty, they are going to perform their incredible medleys at the American Gardens Theater with a special holiday concert. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. The uh, Voices of Liberty are actually an important part of Candlelight Processional, so um, I'm sure that they may take some of their set, well, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming that they may take some of their set from the Candlelight Processional and incorporate it into this holiday concert. In addition, Inside World Showplace will be the fantastic musical group called Joyful. Now, if you've never seen Joyful, you are completely missing out. This is, hands down, one of my favorite things to get to experience during the holidays at Epcot. Now, Joyful presents music through R&B, gospel, contemporary, and traditional Christmas and holiday music. Again, they do a fantastic job, and this is going to be, one of, going to be something you are not going to want to miss out. So make sure you go to World Showplace to find them. Now at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Minnie's Holiday Dine is going to be taking place at Hollywood and Vine. Now this kicks off on November 6th. There's no word on if things like the Sunset Seasons greetings projections are gonna be shown on Tower Terror or if there will be anything like that, but we do know that at least if you'd like a special holiday meal, you can do so at Hollywood and Vine. 
Finally at Disney's Animal Kingdom, poor, poor Disney's Animal Kingdom, Park just finally got a great display for the holidays last year. Uh, it was a fantastic job that they did and then COVID happened. So they are going to have to scale back this year, which is unfortunate. They had those great holiday puppets. Um, Dinoland USA was all decked out. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see kind of how they incorporate the holidays into Disney's Animal Kingdom uh, with some of the decor that they had last year. I'm hoping that they still put the decor up, um, but you're also going to get to see, instead of, of course, meeting the characters in their you know, holiday finest, you're gonna get to see the festive flotillas with characters along the waterways. Now that is gonna kick off on, December, on November 6th as well. Now at Disney Springs, Normally, of course, they have their Christmas tree trail, and of course this year, Christmas tree trail is probably not the best idea. If you've ever been on the Christmas tree trail like I have been, it is utterly packed every single year. Uh, so having all those people packed into one little tight space, probably not the best thing to do uh, with social distancing a thing this year. So with that being said, uh, they are instead going to take the Christmas trees and have them scattered throughout Disney Springs. I kind of like this idea a little bit better. Um, while the Christmas tree trail is very cool to get to see all the Christmas trees in one location, not being cramped among all the people and still being able to see the trees is a really cool thing. So I'm kind of happy to know that they are still gonna have the trees this year, but they're going to be scattered throughout. Uh, now it will still snow at Disney Springs as well. So it's gonna snow on the west side, the landing, and town center. So that's kind of nice that you're still gonna get that holiday snow, holiday feel. In addition, Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar will once again be back this year. Now the bar will be decorated in holiday decor, and it will also include a delicious limited time menu. So um, if you're looking for some special holiday fun, Jock Lindsay's has ya. Now the resorts are also going to get in on the holiday fun too. However, again, it's not gonna be in the same way that it has been in the past. Of course, due to social distancing, the gingerbread houses that are always available uh, for guests to be able to see, unfortunately, these displays are just not going to be able to be put up this year. So, you know, the Grand Floridian will not have the house, the Contemporary will not have the It's a Small World, Cinderella kind of thing going. The uh, carousel will not be at the beach club this year. So unfortunately, those things won't be happening. But the resort hotels are still going to have decorations. So they're still going to have their fantastic Christmas trees up. And they're still going to have great holiday decorations. So again, it's all going to be a little different this year. But it's all going to be okay. It's still going to be just as magical. Because again, you know, you're at Walt Disney World at Christmas. And it's already a magical time to be at Walt Disney World, and when you add Christmas on top of it, it's even more magical. So I know I'm excited to get to experience the holidays this year at uh, Walt Disney World. Um, I have at least one trip planned for the holiday season, uh, probably another, we'll see what happens, uh, but I know I have one for sure. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna still get to enjoy the holidays, so that's a good thing. If you would like to experience the holidays at Walt Disney World, our friends at The Magic for Less Travel uh, would be more than happy to assist you. You can book your trip right now to Walt Disney World. There's some great special offers that are going on for the fall and at the Christmas time period. So check it out. Visit our friends at The Magic for Less Travel. They can get you a free, no obligation quote. Also, make sure you follow along with The Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. So you've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. And that's going to do it for today. We'll see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Have a great day, everyone.